The first thing I want to share with you is about choice. So from the moment you wake up in the morning, you have a choice as to how you view your day, how you view getting out of bed. You can either think, oh, I could really do with an extra bit of sleep this morning. Or you could think, you know what, I'm a little bit tired, but I wonder what I'm going to learn today. So from the moment you get out of bed, you have a choice as, as to how you perceive what's ahead of you. And how you perceive what's ahead of you will dictate the day you have. Who understands what I mean by that? Yeah? So if you expect to have a good day, the likelihood is you're going to have a good day. If you expect that maths lesson to be really boring or really difficult, the likelihood that's, is, is that's exactly what you're going to get. The second thing is about, and I touched on this, about how we perceive circumstances. Because there's a reason that not many teen mums go on, go back into education. There's a reason that people who grow up in council flats, as I did, as I did tend to go to university less than those who grow up with parents who perhaps went to university. There's a reason for all of this. We can't change what happens to us, okay? But what we can do is we can change how we perceive and how we feel about what happens to us. That's so key. And if I'd known that at your age, it would have made my journey an awful lot easier. Take responsibility. Take responsibility for your life, but also take responsibility when you mess up. This again is really critical. We're in a world where people, organizations, even governments have a problem taking responsibility when they mess up and holding their hands up and saying, you know what, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. And if they were to do that, they would build trust with the people that support them. As individuals, when you make a mistake, learn to take responsibility for it because your relationships with people, with friends, with partners, but also in the business world, in the workplace, will improve when you've got that ability to take responsibility for your actions. It build, it's part of having a good character and it's one of those things that employers want to see and will, will desperately, you know, they'll, they'll appreciate it in you if you have that ability. And make a plan and work backwards. So think about, I guess it starts with understanding that you've got the power to design your life, all of it, from the career that you have, from where you live in the world, from who you live with in the world, for how often you travel, all of it, you have the power to design the life that you want to lead. So start to think about it now. I'd be blown away if anybody knew exactly what they wanted to do now because you're still young and it, it took me, gosh, until I was about 21 to work it all out. And even then it keeps changing. I didn't know a year ago that I would be writing a book now, but I was enjoying it. I started to write when my dad was ill and it was a way of me just coping with the experience. And actually that writing has evolved into this book, which is why it's just so important to do what makes you feel good because you never know how it's gonna turn out. Every choice that you make is either gonna take you a step closer to that life you're trying to design or a step away from it. It's whether or not you do argue with mum as you're leaving out in the morning. It's whether or not you do get your homework done. Is that, ask yourself, is this taking me a step closer to the life that I'm designing for, my, for myself or is it taking me away from it? And the more that you practice that habit, the more you'll, you'll start to do it directly.